Dad, I need you to come upstairs. Oh, you might want to. Is it a good this. or a bad thing? Just a bad thing. Bad thing? Did you throw up? Mm hmm. We are moving in this week. It's very exciting that we're getting so close to coming back. Okay, I'm scared. For the first time ever. <laughs> Holy crap. You literally grabbed my arm. It's crazy, huh? <laughs> it's <is> crazy. <laughs> Poor Lizzie Lou Who. I hate when kids are sick. <laughs> Outside and it's really, really cold. It's only 28 degrees. Yeah, it's only 28 degrees. It's not that cold. I'm kidding, it's really cold. Um, we're both really tired because we went to bed at like 1.30 last night. <laughs> but we're going to the church. We have a breakfast activity thing with our young woman. Young woman. So we're going to that right now. I mean, let's see our... It's so, so early, but it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> All right. Have fun, girls. Okay, I love you. Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you. Bye. See you in a while. Okay. See you in a while. Love Be you. good. Have fun. Okay, okay, I love, love you. you. I have a problem. My fuel level is low. It was saying 54 miles before, and now it says no miles, which isn't a big problem because I can get gas. The real problem is I didn't wear any shoes. So, I have to get gas barefooted. The one good thing about this situation is my wallet's on my phone, so I always have money with me. There have been times in the past where I've gotten in the car and i like, oh, I'll run into the store while I'm out really quick, or I need gas and I didn't have any money with me. So, no shoes, yes money. I made it home, I got gas, my feet are fine. Everything's good. <laughs> now I need to make bread. Oh my god, Lizzie. Oh, that is huge. That is massive. Oh, sorry, you're really big short stack. It's short, but it's big. <laughs> Happened just barely. You think? Nope. You bit your breakfast. Nope. You just threw up? Mm hmm. It was your breakfast this morning, huh? Yep. You knew it was food poisoning. <laughs> you literally said it was food poisoning, and I did not believe you. Wow. She so literally started a conversation with me today, and I was like, it just tasted like food food poisoning. I was like, food poisoning doesn't like taste. She's like, but it. Just had a taste of food poisoning. Didn't believe her, but Dad, I need you to come upstairs. Oh, well, you might. Is want it a good or a bad thing? Ah, uh, not very good. Not very good. It's like a bad emergency thing. or no? No, just a bad thing. Bad thing? Yeah, I'll follow me upstairs. What? Did you throw up? Mm-hmm. Why? How? I think the breakfast is food poisoning. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's okay. What about Savannah? She ate some too. I she didn't eat the same thing. What did you get? I got like a salad. Oh, I'm sorry. So how do you feel right now? Um, my throat hurts. But I need to brush my teeth. That's the second time throwing up in three days. Yeah, I've like, I've had a stomach ache all day, but it wasn't, it's not nausea. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, did you show your mom? Nope, not yet. I need you to come upstairs. Huh? I need you to come upstairs. Alright. I got these It's not a good thing, so probably, I don't know. Not a good thing? Nope. Ew. Goodbye. Why did you throw up? I think the breakfast is food poisoning. What are we gonna do about that? No, look at it. Do you feel s My throat hurts, but like I'm like shaky. What did you eat for breakfast? A salad. <laughs> yeah, that could do it. Sorry. Okay. Now you gotta clean up the sink. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go get Draco, my snuggly buddy, and just get back in bed. And then I've been in bed all day, literally. We went to breakfast, and I had my salad, which is the bacon. I said at, after breakfast that it tasted like food poisoning, and then 
it's when I was like, mm, that's not true. I don't think there's a taste to food poisoning. But anyways, so I laid it down to go to sleep and then I was snuggling Draco all day and then I woke up. So I stood up and my stomach was not like having it. I ran and tried to get to the toilet, but then the sink was closer and I like, and I threw up in the sink and not fun at all. Okay, for me and okay, we're playing our game. And I look over, no, I hear Lizzie coughing. So I look over, she puked again. Oh no, oh, I hate the sound of puke. Are you good? Okay. Since we are moving in this week and our bedroom bathroom isn't ready yet, we are gonna spend some time in the guest room. That's all right, it's gonna be nice. We'll still, hopefully we'll get this bathroom done in time so we can have a bathroom. Everything will work out. It's very exciting that we're getting so close to coming back and being back here. What if we put a Christmas tree right here one of those big, tall ones. That would be cool. Right here. We surprise the kids with it. That would be really cool. Because it would probably have to come all the way out to here. To be, what are they, 12 footers or something like that? Yeah. They don't have them anymore. They didn't, they didn't see them anymore. Not at Costco, they don't. We might be able to find one somewhere else. I think we need to do that. Okay. I, mean, I think it would be really fun to have one mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. Because that's really only the space we can do that taller one. Yeah. The star on it from the top. <laughs> you can even have Neymar put the star on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, scared. Are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first time ever. Yeah. You rode in the other one this way though. Is this regular or is this crazy? Okay, so we can go, yeah, this is this is crazy. So I I gotta <laughs> tell you, it's it doesn't you can't think. Okay. You ready for it? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy crap. You literally grabbed my arm. <laughs> Did you hit something over there? The windshield? <laughs> no. What'd you hit? It was the it was the, the what do you think about that? tripod. That one more time, ready? Oh man. <sighs> okay. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, your eyeballs like you literally can't. <laughs> That's like worse than Incredicoaster. It is faster than Incredicoaster, guaranteed. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I don't, you don't feel down on a credit coaster like I do, but that's still, but it's too long. Like, in credit coaster doesn't go that long where, with that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's crazy, huh? It is crazy. <laughs> okay, so we are having, mom's making chicken sandwiches. Like, chicken cordon bleu sandwiches for dinner. And so, before she gets home, we just need it like so that when she gets home, we can just hurry and throw them in the oven. Make sure to preheat the oven and get out the patties that we need. I did seven, right? Yeah. So I did seven. We need seven patties so that we can have some chicken corn and blue for dinner. All right, Lou. It's all taken care of. Go get pajamas on and get in bed, okay? Actually, you should probably take a shower. Okay? Go take a fast shower. Take your bowl and get ready for bed. Huh? You feel good? You still feel nauseous? Well, we'll see what a shower and a good night's sleep does for you. Hi, right, Draco, you're so worried about Lizzie being sick. Poor Lizzie Lou Who. I hate when kids are sick. Hopefully it was just food poisoning and she's better tomorrow. The good thing is, is she's older and she understands what's going on. It's so hard when babies are sick and they don't know why they're throwing up or why they feel so yucky or why their tummy hurts so bad. At least Lizzie knows that she can just sleep all day <laughs> to get feeling better. <laughs> she's in the shower, she's feeling better. Hopefully she gets some sleep and be all better tomorrow. Time to do the deed. The not so fun deed. The dogs ate way too much before they went to bed last night. And they hopped in this crate, and one of them had an accident. I'm not gonna show you, but I've gotta get it cleaned up. So, here we go. 
Okay, so I think it's time for this weather. I think it's time for this weather to finally start giving us a little bit of a break. And I say that lightly because it's not way, way cold, but it's just been colder than normal. But more than anything, I'm already tired of all the people being sick. My mom was sick today. Well, she's been sick for a week. Her husband's been sick. Uh, I'm talking to my brother, he's been sick. Cody, uh, one of the guys that works for us has been sick. Uh, Lizzie, sick today. Lizzie, it sounds like, it feels like, I don't know, just a lot of people are sick. And of course Lizzie's is, could be uh, the food poisoning from some of the stuff she ate this morning. But uh, food poisoning, that's actually kind of a nasty term. But um, you saw a little tiny piece of it today of the opportunity that we had to gift, uh, gift a bike uh, to this guy through another channel and um, man, I gotta say, it is just, there's just something about giving to someone who doesn't feel like they deserve, but also to someone who wasn't expecting it, that just like changes perspective, it just changes how you feel. And um, it was really cool, really cool opportunity. And so I'm just gonna just think about how much that, uh, that opportunity gave me to just think about how, good it feels to just give and um, sometimes giving doesn't mean giving anything particularly worth any money or anything it could be giving someone a smile it could be giving someone a compliment it could be giving someone the opportunity to be validated in, in their efforts it could be who knows it could be anything so I'm gonna work harder to to give more and um, I challenge you to do the same thing especially this time of year right Tis the season we love you guys never forget that you are worth it.